Art here from the Thinking Hand Studio Architects and this afternoon I am in Mazda City which is a low carbon footprint community, a technology and research hub here in Abu Dhabi and originally it was designed by Fosters and Partners in sort of early 2000s in the last few years and it's actually quite extraordinary and a really really enjoyable um, development to wander around. The premise of the community is that it is home to the Mazda Institute which is a, a kind of research and technology hub um, supported by the universities you've got. It's also home to a number of stray cats that are really really giving it a good, good scream whilst I'm talking. Um, and it's also home to a number of uh, uh, headquarters of businesses. You've got Simeon's, uh, Siemens who are based here and other companies that are kind of wanting to have a real strong research arm or development stage um, in their businesses have got offices here. Um, behind me what you can see these are um, the sort of residential units so a lot of the researchers and the academics that are based here are actually living on site um, and you know the whole, the whole place is really really quite extraordinary. And for me, what's really interesting is that it's a kind of beautiful combination of very high-tech solutions as well as very traditional um, Arabic solutions to thermal comfort, to sustainability, and to making this a low carbon footprint area as possible. So just outside of the this main sort of fortified town, this kind of small community here, you've got a large photovoltaic um, field, which is absolutely enormous. And then you've got these, you know, each of these buildings has got their own sort of signature sustainability thing going on. So behind me, we see here these the uh, residential units this is kind of like a glass reinforced concrete which is shaped um, and colored with terracotta there's very little amount of kind of natural light openings in there kind of keeping the thermal mass quite substantial which will give a natural cooling uh, to the building the building over here behind me this is covered in ETFE um, pillows and again it's kind of creating a cushion and there's a, there's a layer of uh, foil like a kind of aluminium foil behind there which again is kind of keeping this kind of insulating layer of, uh, of air. These cats are really going for it. There's a kind of insulating layer of air there again adding to the thermal comfort and sustainability of the building. Above me here this is I think this is called the knowledge centre but this is um, a kind of hedgehog-like structure, photovoltaics again on the on the top of it, natural ventilation from the apertures and it's also controlling the amount of light that's hitting the buildings. But for me what really excites me is just the the planning, the master planning of the entire environment. Um, very narrow streets, the buildings are kind of overlooking on top of each other, creating a continuous amount of natural shadow. Uh, keeping the whole place cool and naturally ventilated. There's also a large wind tower which is again you will see this more traditionally in Arabic architecture, wind towers taking cooler air or creating capturing kind of uh, prevailing winds from on top of the building and bringing them down creating natural ventilation within that um, space and that's you've got fossils of design it's quite a huge wind tower um, which is bringing out the air and kind of keeping these spaces ventilated. There's also the use of water, you've got kind of fountains, um, so they're kind of utilizing natural evaporation, which will keep the ambient temperature very, very comfortable. So I'm gonna leave you there with some, some images of this fantastic, fantastic set of spaces and really is quite a, I know that it was, it was billed to be a completely zero carbon footprint and you know be totally self-sustainable I'm not sure if they've actually accomplished that but in terms of a kind of blueprint or a model for what is possible in terms of sustainability I think this is a pretty good you know environment